Good morning, welcome to, I can get it, there we go, three degrees and sunny. That's what this looks like, three degrees and sunny. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking morning. Um, if only I didn't have to stand out in the cold to see it. Hey, here you go, I'm still on my hair. Um, today is, well for me, today is Thursday which is our third day in England. Um, we're still in quarantine. Let me, let me sort of um, give you a quick catch up. So, we're staying at my mama's house. We are in quarantine. Um, we've been quite lucky. We, in the village there is a, a Bangladeshi and Indian restaurant that produces stunningly, stunningly good food, I tell you very good and um, so we've been able to eat from there order from there they deliver so things I've noticed here we haven't been out much so you know I haven't been out at all apart from just sort of coming into the airport and coming down to here so there doesn't seem to be this whole to go so in Malaysia if I want to go into a shopping mall I have to check in on QR code if I go into a shop within that shopping mall I check into that shop if I want to go into another shop, I check into that shop. So literally they can trace every step. Now I'm not some kind of weird conspiracy nut. I don't care that they're following me. I'm going shopping. Sure, if I'm going to have some sort of liaison dangerous, maybe I wouldn't want them following me. But, you know, if you guys aren't spies or murderers or thieves or just like skiving off what you should be doing, there's nothing to worry about. So that's Malaysia. Come to England and... Uh, that really isn't a thing. There is no like. We've got this NHS logo, but I think it's like if you want to do it, do it. Whereas in Malaysia, if you do not QR code yourself into a building, you can be fined and have a serious amount of money. And I'm all for it because, you know, that keeps the cases down. It's easy to trace the people that have caused the problems. And the UK, to me, okay, we've got the vaccinations here. That's the thing. The UK is ramped up the vaccinations over half the country now is vaccinated um, but the tracking tracing side of it they're completely behind on but the vaccination side yes absolutely brilliant so that's obviously something I need to consider as well um, I've got a replacement credit card that turned up which is good um, I haven't got a replacement bank card yet so might be useful if we need to you know well will be useful if we need to hire cars or buy tickets and all sorts of other stuff but really we need some cash so hopefully the other bank card will arrive within the next day or two um, we ordered both um, what else is happening um, gosh oh internet so I'm not gonna be putting up many videos if you're if I'm one of your subscribers I'm afraid I'm not watching many videos I can't watch videos the my mother it's from the dark ages, she's 79 years old, she doesn't need the internet. She doesn't need it rightly, I mean, let's be honest. Um, so she has no internet, so the only way I could get internet was by buy, buying a MiFi, like a dongle thing, you know, and um, a SIM card that goes with that, which I bought from three. That whole package cost me like total, I think it's 85 pounds, which is about 500 ringgit, kids. Yeah, just for one. Now that's uh, 24 gigabytes of um, data. On the end of day one, we'd already got rid of uh, eight of that, so it's going to last us three days. So it might run out today or tomorrow. Um, to to um, to add more data cost me 25 pounds, which is uh, 125 ringgit, or well, actually more like 140 ringgit for seven gigabytes so like literally for almost they could maybe another day's worth so that isn't going to work for me i cannot do i can't watch vlogs i can't um can't comment on your vlogs and even like me posting vlogs takes forever um yeah so where are we i've forgotten yeah so sorry all my um regular people here i'm not watching your emails and i'm not replying not because i don't want to but just because honestly i can't um, I will be, uh, as soon as we go out of quarantine, obviously we can nice find a nice coffee shop, sit down comfortably and we can steal all their internet and uh, we can, oh, see I say that, that's, oh, we can't sit in coffee shops, I forgot, we 
cats in coffee shops. So in in Malaysia, we've all, we've been so used to it, we can go and sit down, we can eat inside, and do everything. Here, you've got this weird twisted thing where you can order it, but you can sit outside with it, but you can't sit inside with it. It's madness, frankly. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get. <laughs> we need to be somewhere where we got Wi-Fi. Um, somebody's Wi-Fi. We need to steal someone's Wi-Fi because we have nothing. Maybe I'll sit. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're screwed. We have no internet. So I can't, um, although I can make vlogs and post them up, I can't really even access them myself to make thumbnails. So that's the reason there's no thumbnails at the moment. You'll probably see when I've got internet, suddenly the thumbnails will start appearing, but I'm trying to watch them back and the quality is like, I'm getting like, looks like something from the 1920s. That's how slow the internet is here at the moment. Um, the dog was great. I mean, we have access to the internet, but it's not not internet that you could watch Netflix or YouTube videos on, or even, um, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go, I'm waffling. I don't know if we're recording now. Fuck, I don't know what's going on here.